Hey guys, it's Nar Mayhem Minute. This time for March 19th, 2015. I'm Mike Sorg, uh, ready to discuss a little bit of NXT. I, I know the guys are going to talk more NXT on uh, the Midweek Wars, of course. They record here on Thursday nights, including, uh, in- including NXT, SmackDown, and Lucha Underground, which I understand was tremendous last night from what I'm hearing from the Twitters. Um, you can follow. We have live tweets and re- live retweets um of the show on mayhem show on the twitters as well and check out everything else at wrestling show.com but i wanted to talk about uh seeing the first out of out of full sale university nxt and seeing the rise of nxt as its own brand we've talked about this of course several times over the weeks including on this uh, specific show but in particular uh, uh impressions last night i thought it was really interesting that wwe would do something on such a small scale um, I don't know what the venue was for this Columbus show, but they showed a lot. Of course, they were there because the Arnold Classic, um, and it's a smaller venue, and, and, and they're being smart. They're not trying to book things that are larger and just trying to fill it. You know, they're, 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 they're booking venues that they know they'll pack, and very much so. You have people standing on the stage, and plus, it, it was obviously some kind of music venue that they kind of shoehorn things into, which you really don't expect from a WWE production. Um, even as small as something like this, it, it was really kind of surprising. Um, and they, uh, there was no ramp there on stage. I had to go around to the steps and they had to do an awkward pull away, uh, shot because, you know, so they don't have people walking down the steps, which was kind of interesting too. Um, but, uh, but still show came off really interesting. I definitely different feel because they were, in a different place, but people, you know, you worried about, well, is that going to translate? Is, is, are the chance and the reactions going to translate from that crowd that always comes into the full cell university, you know, going to, you know, kind of a sort of similar, but different problem we had with the impact zone. That was always at universal studios. Right. Um, but I think it worked out really well. And of course we're going to get this again here, uh, with another live special, I believe, uh, WrestleMania week. Uh, I think that's that Wednesday beforehand. Um, and they're talking about, I'm looking at an article right now on WrestleZone that NXT is going to potentially do a show, uh, or will be doing a show at Philadelphia, holding live events on, uh, on the 15th and the 16th of May that and not confirmed or anything like that. Um, but, uh, but still they're, they're getting around more and also interesting. They're hitting up the middle, the, the, the Northeastern Midwestern corridor here, um, where your ring of honors and your, your, it was really the hotbed of wrestling for a lot of these guys. Um, so they're really riding that. And really the, the biggest thing with that NXT was it felt like a ring of honor show in space and space. In the spacing it was in, <laughs> if I can clarify that, um, in the spacing that it was in, uh, it was just with a little bit better production value. And even I was surprised with the Ring of Honor this week, seeing that they got a Titantron type situation. And it looks really, really cool. Um, but uh, but no, I, I think NXT and these these new different live spaces, I think the transition is going to be interesting. Even on the show, when they were going to the Arnold Classic, they were talking to Triple H about how NXT is going to become its own brand. NXT is, is really circulating and getting out there, and there's an opportunity to do that and, and, and seeing the, the vibe and the reaction to that. Um, this is going to be maybe you know not as big. Of, it wouldn't be interesting if NXT as a brand became a little bigger than Raw did to a certain degree. We'll see what happens there, um, especially especially in that environment, right? But it's really interesting. He said it's not just the developmental anymore, which then makes me wonder, where are people going to go to develop? So maybe we'll get like an NXT2 that's like the lower, lower, lower end guys. And they'll be like, maybe you'll go to Raw. Maybe you'll go to NXT. Who knows? Who knows? But I really hope some of those guys that are on top of NXT that may stick around for a while uh, are getting a little better contracts than what I hear is initially going on. What do you think of NXT's first uh, show outside of Florida? I think generally their first show outside of Florida, but first, of course, taped show outside of Florida. Um, please uh, uh, let me know on the comments to this video at Mayhem Show on the Twitter. Please subscribe to everything and check out our friends, our sponsors, and partners over at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, including Power to the Sparks, including uh, the 405 uh, Network, and all kinds of fun stuff. See you next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.